What action would you recommend that the President take to mend and reform our relations with Cuba and with what priority? And by the way, this is the last chapter of the book, advice about how this might be done. We have seen uh, the real lesson, which is Cuba does want better relations, but it wants it on the grounds of mutual respect and an acknowledgement of the sovereignty of the Cuban Revolution. And this is the hardest thing for U.S. policymakers to actually come to grips with, that they can't simply tell this little country what to do anymore, and that they haven't been able to since the 1959 revolution. So if we go in there and we say, we're going to have, we'll lift the embargo, but you have to change your political system, or we'll lift the embargo, but you have to change your foreign policy, Fidel Castro's response has been, wait, do you have one set of rules for you and another set of rules for us because we're smaller? As the leader of this country, I don't accept uh, that kind of posturing on your part. Uh, we are a sovereign country, you're a sovereign country. We don't come to you and say, get the CIA out of Africa or out of Central America or out of Colombia or whatever. Uh, that's not our precondition for talking. So let's just have normal relations and treat each other with mutual respect. Um, so I think you know Obama. Uh, these are these are all lessons that that are for Obama as he gets ready to hopefully meet uh, Raúl Castro next April in Panama City. I think the best thing for him to do would be to have a package that he just announces um, uh, of, of a bunch of changes, new exemptions to the embargo, new exemptions to the ban on travel that allow more of us to go more freely, taking Cuba off the the state's monster terrorism list where it doesn't belong and where it's penalized economically uh, for, um, for being on the list. I mean, there's a contradiction. You can't really say, um, you can't really say we're going to normalize relations, but, but this country is still on the terrorism list. And then all the enemies of normalizing relations say, but you're normalizing relations with a country that's on the, the terrorist list. So we have to take Cuba off the list in order to just rationally uh, do this. But, you know, the best thing that Barack Obama can do is sit down, accept a, a Cohiba Lancero from Raul Castro, uh, smoke a peace pipe together, so to speak, um, and emerge from the summit next April uh, with another kind of photo op of shaking hands, um, like the photo on the front of the book, um, and basically both presidents saying, you know, we're ready to put the past behind us and look toward a better future.